Look, I always say, when they tell you who they are, listen to them. The left is so unhinged at this point that they will tell you exactly what they truly mean. Keeping that in, in, insane ideology of white Christian nationalism and white supremacy and white male Christian dominance out of power, that's all that matters. White male Christian dom. I mean, wow, these people are deranged. You know what? Before I lose my mind, let's just take a breath and we're going to break this down. First, there are no white supremacists on the Republican ticket, lady. There is a guy on the Democrat ticket who eulogized a KKK member. That would be Joe Biden. But I I'm getting a little tired of this narrative. And, and to be honest, not, not only was everyone off better off under Trump, especially black people were better off under Donald Trump. And this, Joy Reid saying this kind of stuff, it's not only massively racist, but it's actually dangerous. May I remind you that Donald Trump was absolutely loved by like every local black leader prior to declaring his presidency as a Republican. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, all those guys rushed to be by his side until he ran for president as a Republican. Could you imagine, let's just say Rush Limbaugh, and I'm not putting Joy Reid and Rush Limbaugh on the same page, they're not even comparable, okay? But if he ever came out and said this, but like reverse the races, what would Joy Reid or any liberal commentator say if, jo if Rush Limbaugh said they needed to keep, and, and I'm flipping the script here, the black Muslim dominance out of anything? They would have a meltdown. Our country was founded on the principles of Judeo-Christian morals. Ironically, it was also the premise of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment as a post-Civil War resolution, which gave equal rights to all as well as ending slavery. It's on our money. It says, in God we trust. But I bet Joy Reid's not throwing that any of her money away in protest. Lady, you are a black woman with a national network platform making over a million dollars a year. Donald Trump being in office was like the best thing that ever happened to her ratings, yet she still hates him. So much so that she's willing to outright lie to her viewers to try to persuade them not to vote for people despite them getting crushed by the policies of the current guy. Anything with the R on it is going to take your birth control. Anything with the R on it is going to make you register uh, and take the military, um, the military preparatory test in high school so that you're ready to be cannon fodder for them, to be deployed on the streets of the United States to shoot Americans who are protesting. They're going to take away your education. They're going to take away your opportunity to go to college. They're going to take away your books, your history. They're going to take away your right to even know the history of this country. They're going to replace it with so-called patriotic education. They're going to get rid of the Department of Education, meaning no more Pell Grants, no more money for school, no more student loans, no more equality for girls' sports. All of it gone. Let's just back up a sec. Take away birth control? No, that Donald Trump has never sought to ban birth control. He has sought to ban late-term abortions, you know, like a viable baby from being aborted. That's his platform, and anything else is completely dishonest. Register for the draft to shoot people in the streets of the United States? Are you kidding me? Lady, this is personal to me, because not only is it a lie, but it personally insults me as a soldier. I would never, regardless of any order, by the way, and I think most of the military is on board with this, we would never shoot lawfully protesting citizens unless it was to defend my own life or if they were actively engaged in like imminent criminal physical harm and threat to the foundation of America. I mean, take away opportunities for college and history. It, like, real, your party is the one tearing down statues and supporting terrorists. You and your party, Joy Reid, are tearing down and teaching revisionist history. You want to rip everything out that does not support your narrative. And then blame us. My party just doesn't want softcore porn and scantily dressed drag queens twerking in our five-year-old's faces in, over lunchtime. And we, yeah, get rid of the Department of Education? Yeah, heck yeah, I'm super here for that. That should be gone immediately. Since the creation of the Department of Education, Joy Reid, after billions of dollars spent on our children, test scores have steadily and massively declined. It's like the more money they spend, the worse it is. And protecting girls' sports is... I'm sorry, do we live on the same planet? Republicans are the only ones actually doing this. You, Joy Reid... Are one of the, are part, you're part of this party that is literally letting men shatter not only records in girls' sports, but literally their faces. Folks, look, 
I'm sorry, I, I, love, I love that you tune into the show and I'm like humbled and grateful that you take an hour out of your busy day to spend it with us here and I hate asking you for stuff, but please, this segment will be posted. Share this with people you know who might be fleeced by people like Joy Reid. That's the only way we're gonna fight this. This is the biggest lie too, that Democrats have gone so far to purchase a website to lie to you about. Because all that matters, I'm gonna say this to y'all again, all that matters in this upcoming election is that you keep that man and that Project 2025 plan out of power. That's all, that you, that's all you need to understand. They are desperately trying to tie those two together. Trump's disavowed Project 2025. Yeah, there are some people working for that that did work in the Trump administration at one point, but Trump has emphatically said that he wants nothing to do with this. But this is the Democrats' platform. They actually can't get actual Americans to vote for their terrible policies, so they're going to import them. And I'm going to talk in just about a minute about the Democrats and how they're blocking people to prove that they're citizens to vote in our elections. That vote's literally happening as we speak right now. The Democrats' platform is things like Occupy Democrats. This is a semi-official verif verified account with more than 700,000 followers that regularly complains about misinformation, mind you saying this, quote, breaking U.S. intelligence officials reveal that malicious Russian operatives intend to covertly use social media to twist public opinion, erode support for Ukraine, and help Donald Trump in battleground states this election. What? Intel officials, the same ones that said that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation? Show me that report. How long before they have to walk that one back like they did the last two Russian collusion claims? I'm, I'm sure it won't be walked back faster, though, than George Clooney, who, like three weeks ago, was on stage campaigning for and with Joe Biden, who's now saying Joe's got to go. George Stephanopoulos, who just sat down with him in the flesh, had the same concerns. Hey, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? Good. What do you think? Do you think Biden should step down? You talk to him more than anybody else have lately. And you could be honest. You don't think you can serve four more years? All right. That's an answer. And what makes it worse, as we've talked about, is that KJP, the White House press secretary, keeps lying or conveniently leaving out information about Biden meeting with a neurologist in January that was previously reported to the press as a meeting not related to health care. And it's crazy how the left has moved the bar. We played the soundbite of Jamie Raskin under Donald Trump calling for the 25th Amendment. The physical health of the president, the mental health of the president is something of fundamental importance to the national security of the country and the continuing effectiveness of the government. So I think that, uh, you know, some of the current events have concentrated our mind on the problem, but we need to set this up as a matter of uh, institutional responsibility as Congress. That was referring to Donald Trump. So Trump was not fit to be in office, according to Jamie Raskin. But now, according to a major mouthpiece of the left, which a lot of people tune into, Whoopi Goldberg, the bar is now, it's okay to poop your pants. I don't care if he's pooped his pants. I don't care if he can't put a sentence together. Show me he can't do the job. And then I'll say, okay, maybe it's time to go. I have poopy days all the time. All the I step in so much poo you can't even imagine. <laughs> now, I'm not running the world, but I don't know anybody who doesn't step in stuff at some point. Not pooping your pants, I would say, is part of the job of President of the United States. The Democrat Party is full of cowards that would never fight their own wars, liars and hypocrites like Justice Sotomayor. If you recall, she voted against our right to carry a gun and defend ourselves in the Bruin decision, yet just had her personal security shoot a guy trying to break into her car. The only thing Democrats have, because they're not running on their policy, they're running on Trump's a bad guy and we're going to get radical DAs to prosecute bogus crimes and then lie about foreign interference. That's their pl platform. I mean, get lost. We got to wake up or we're not going to have a country.